Damit bitte ich jetzt einen sehr bekannten Namen auf die Bühne. Und zwar ist das Mohamed Zidane. So, here we go. It's a complicated topic, but I try to simplify it. So, from the first slide, we can see how complicated is our immune system. Um, all these different types of cells are protecting us. Uh, because uh, when an organism uh, enters uh, our body, all these different types of cells uh, are considered as the first line of defense uh, which protect us against these foreign organisms. So our immune system is carrying a very, very difficult uh, equation, in fact. Uh, from one side, uh, when uh, a foreign organisms enter our body, our immune system is started to attack it. On the other hand, our immune system it didn't attack our immune, our, our own body's components, and instead of it, uh, uh, we, uh, it, is, it is tolerated by our, uh, by our immune system or, or by, our, by our body. So, um, in fact, when, when, when an, uh, a foreign organism enters our body in a healthy immune system, um, uh, the immune, the, in a healthy immune system, uh, the, the, foreigner, the, uh, the immune system is capable to kick out this uh, foreigner body outside of, the, uh, outside of our immune system. And this is, this is, this is in fact, normal in a, in a normal immune system. And in fact, our body then gain uh, an immunity and self-case. And in case of disease, when, an immune, when a foreigner body enters our system, sometimes the, immune, the, the foreigner body won this fight between the immune systems. And what's happened? that uh, we have then to, to go to the doctor to write us an, a, a, a very expensive antibiotic, for example, in order to enhance our immune uh, system. So uh, this is the equations uh, which are helped by our immune system. So another bad scenario could happen. What can happen is that our immune system, instead of that it uh, uh, tolerate our own components or our own body, it started to attack it. And attack our immune body will lead to uh, uh, very har uh, harmful uh, diseases, uh, which is uh, autoimmune diseases. So this is a, a, a lot of examples for autoimmune diseases. In all these autoimmune diseases, what happens is that uh, an inflammation occurs in the periphery, and uh, there is a lot of uh, autoimmune diseases like inflammatory bowel diseases, rheumatoid arthritis, seizure diseases, systemic lupus erythematosus. All these diseases. <laughs> They share a very common uh, effect that it comes in the, in the it comes in the periphery and at the same time uh, the body started to lose its tolerance to self and started to be aggressive and attack itself. So it seems it seems that, that this equation is very uh, uh, magic equation. So who who holds this equation? Uh, it is uh, thanks to the T cells. Our T cells in our body is a soldier to our immune system. And then, why, and, and why this happens? Why, are, why our immune system, instead of tolerating our own body, started to attack it? So then we have to understand the story of the G cells. And so let's, let's now consider that the G cells is the, uh, the, G cells is the pregnant, and the stem cell is the embryo, and the mother gives the birth of the G cells inside uh, the bone marrow. So uh, in, the, in, in the bone marrow, yes, the stem cells give birth to the G cells, and the G cells then are, are, are still young T cells are generated inside the bone marrow. They are sent by the parents to the school, and this school is in the thymus. So the education of the T cells must be occurred in the thymus after birth in the bone marrow. So what's happened in the central tolerance school? The first lesson which the T cells have to learn that they always should differentiate between what's the enemy and what's a friend. <laughs> the enemy is the self, the enemy is a non-self, and this should be attacked. And the self is a, is a friend, and this never should be attacked. And second step, you have never ever to attack yourself. You should be tolerant to yourself and to your own body. <laughs> so this is really, in fact, the, a fascinating story. If you got uh, one, 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 one after birth, he said he is sent to the school by the parents, and then he uh, go to the university, and then find uh, a job. So 
as a, as a reason, see, you should be a tolerant person, so, so that's what I think. But let, let us see the other side of the story for the kids which don't go to the school. And this is very uh, difficult because the problems of these non visitors of the school that they will then start to be aggressive. And they start to be aggressive not in the central, but they go to the periphery, they go, they go into the countryside, they go into the slam docks, and they start to attack their own home, home and houses. And this is exactly what's, how, what's happened in our body. So this requires a uh, meeting with the education committee and the government. <laughs> and after a very long discussion, they decided, or they found, uh, they reached the decision that they couldn't do anything to these non-visitors, to these scapers, because they are out of the control. But what we can do instead that we cannot educate scapers, what we can do, we can educate catchers. And the function of these catchers, and they, they follow these scapers and go after them into the periphery. And then they started to suppress them. And that's exactly what happened. It's fascinating in our body. So let's do it. So let's do it. Uh, they started to, 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 to do it as an examination, as an example, uh, uh, as a period for examination. So. Um, these fascinating suppressors, uh, they are very, very small number in the society, and at the same time, uh, they are not allowed to division, so they are not allowed to bring uh, offsprings. And then uh, their task or the mission that they bring periphery to the, uh, bring tolerance to the periphery and suppress these aggressor T cells. And after a period of examinations, they found that the experiment works very good. But imagine now that you are, for example, a director of um, a company with 1,000 co-workers, and you have just three, three, five persons who are working very co-efficiently, co very efficiently, very genuine, and they are a very small number in size. So what's happened? So you can have always to put, to put in mind that once any defects occur in these in, in this workers, then yeah, the company is, is damaged. So that's exactly what's happened in our, in our immune system also. So once there's any defect in these very small uh, regulatory or suppressor T cells, what happens is that the, the body will, will lose its uh, last defense or last line of defense and then will be subjected to autoimmune disease. So, uh, all the stem cell, um, so most, uh, maybe I have to return one slide back. So, most of the drugs in the markets are, are, are concentrating uh, on, on treating the symptoms and the signs. But uh, we need uh, a, a drug or, or a treatment which can treat the reason or the cause. And that's why uh, we have to go one back slide, one, 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 one step ba backward, where we have, uh, we have to see who, sent, who didn't send, send these kids to the school. And it is the mother, it is the parents. So we have to go one, back, uh, one, one step back to the stem cells. And stem cells give rise to, to these T cells. So uh, what we have to do is that we have to give an intensive course to the parents. So collect. Two minutes left. Correct. Uh, the parents, the stem cells from the bone marrow, and start to teach him. So that maybe we, they can subject it to a gene therapy. And after that, ask Fukushima, for example, to uh, destroy all these aggressor T cells. And then, after, after that, you can inject these uh, stem cells again. So they are homing into the bone marrow and hoping that this time they will send their T cells again to the school and they will be an efficient immune uh, system. So this is just one example for uh, for uh, the therapy uh, which we are which we are uh, doing, and yes, uh, this is my last slide. Uh, no, uh, my last slide, of course, how to increase our immune systems. This is everything I think uh, we know is, is, is normal, but maybe instead of drinking too much alcohol, really water is very very efficient. <laughs> and yes, um, uh, thank you for your attention. And <laughs> Ja, danke dafür. Sehr erfrischend, das Ganze. Very, very schnell.